Different this summer, after 100 years of serving the community, the Charleston department store is closing and opening in its place apartments. Eyewitness News reporter Ava Rash spoke to council members about their thoughts on the new addition. The Charleston department store is coming down and in its place, 32 two bedroom apartments. Some don't think it's a good idea, including the council member representing the West Side. You put temporary living spots, it doesn't change our community. It doesn't. It just, you get people temporary in and out, in and out, in and out, and it doesn't change our, um, our neighborhood at all. The Woda Group announced Washington Green will be taking over the two acre department store spot. If you come up Washington Street, it's, it's going to be all low income apartments. And the, I don't have a problem with the apartments, but when you put families in apartments, kids don't have playgrounds, they don't have any place to go and they're right on West Washington Street and it just seems like we're being taken over by low income housing projects. Barry Ogren, the owner of the Charleston department store, told Eyewitness News that this is not low income housing. It's considered workforce housing. He says it should attract policemen, firemen, teachers and others on the west side that want better housing situations. Council member Pat Jones doesn't think that's the case. Well, they're all open to firefighters and police officers, mm -hmm. but mainly it's going to it's going to be the same thing. I think everybody knows that, but we just don't need any more on the west side. A spokesperson for the West Virginia Housing Development Fund told Eyewitness News the project has been picked to receive low income housing tax credits through the Housing Development Fund. The tax credits must be approved by the Housing Board of Directors. Councilmember Larry Moore says the West Side needs more permanent housing, not rental properties. Recently, we've had more like temporary like rental apartments built than homes built, so which affects the whole neighborhood, affects our school systems and everything. It builds generational wealth for people. Like say, I have this house and I can leave it to my children, or I can use this house for equity to get another house. You know, it helps build up the neighborhood. The Woda Group says it hopes to start construction on the project this summer. Reporting in Charleston, Ava Rash, Eyewitness News.